Welcome back to the shop for another episode of Shop Talk. So everybody really enjoyed the, the last video where I talked about carbide inserts and trying to break down the nomenclature and the, the encoding of it, what, what that means and how to identify a tool holder and an insert. So I had told you that I'd like to go into it a little bit further and let's talk about some other types of tools. So this episode we're going to talk about some threading inserts and some threading holders. I've got one holder here that we're going to talk about, break it down, and also to the inserts. Now, there's different type of threading inserts out there also. You know, there's several different styles you have. Other than what I'm going to show you, you have the top knot style, which was like a kinemetal style. And then you have the older stand-up style of insert, like a TNMC. But we're not going to go into that. We're going to focus on one style, which, which is my favorite insert to use. I think they're the best design and they hold up the best. They don't break as much. And that is going to be the, I don't forgot what I call them now, the 16 ER, the ER inserts, I'm sorry. Uh, 16 and 22 is the size that I have here. So we're going to talk about those. And again, we're going to use this Engineer's Black Book, the USA edition. And we had a lot of people talk about this book after I showed it and showed interest in it, said that they'd like to order one. I had a lot of people that did say they ordered it. I've got a link to this book through Amazon if you'd like to pick one up. I think they're around $25 here in the U.S. So check the video description. I'll have the link to this through Amazon if you'd like to buy one. But there's plenty of other sources to buy this if you don't want to go through the Amazon link. All of your tooling sources like uh, KBC Tools, Travers, MSC, all those guys sell this book as well. Okay, so we'll get the camera around here and we'll try to go over these inserts a little bit and hopefully I'll, I'll be able to help you understand what these letters and numbers mean. Okay, here we go. And first of all, I want to apologize. I know that this is extremely hard to see using my GoPro camera. Uh, all I use is GoPro. I would like to upgrade to another style of camera here in the future where I can do some zooming and I'll be able to show you guys stuff like this, especially machining at a little closer view and easier to see. But for now I'm using GoPro. So that's why I broke it down and put it on paper because I know this is a lot easier to read than this book. All right, so we're gonna use, this is my, this is my threading tool that I use. You see it's a lay down insert. That's the style that we're talking about is a lay down style. This is another insert we're going to talk about. This is a 22. The one on the holder is a 16. So we'll start with the 16 right here. And I know it's hard to read there, but this says on the side, SER 0750K16. And this, is, this particular one is made in Israel. All right, in this book, and something else I'm going to point out too is that I'm disappointed in this black book that it only has metric for these threading tools. It does not have inch in there. So it works the same. You just have to kind of convert the numbers over to inch, which is just a little bit more work, but it all kind of encodes the same way. All right, so there we have an SER 0750 K16 tool holder. I got everything broken down into what that means right there. So we'll go over that. Uh, each, one, each one in this book, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven for external and internal. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And each box gives you the info that you need to know. Very first letter, S, screw clamping system. So this type of insert only has a screw that holds it down in the center. So that's what the S is for. E is for an external holder. So this is used for cutting external threads. R is a right hand. This is a right hand tool. Remember, whenever you're looking at your tools, right hand, you're starting on the right, you're turning to the left. A left hand is just the opposite. You're gonna be over on the left here and you're gonna be turning it to the right. The 0750 here on the tool represents your shank size your uh, or your tool holder diameter for like a bar. So in this case, it's 0750, which is three quarters. So it's a three quarter by three quarter square shank right here. K is your tool length, and that's over here in metric. It's 125 millimeter in metric, but for the standard imperial size tools, four and three quarter is what this length is right here. 
16, that's an important one to know. That's your insert size. So if I was looking at this tool holder without an insert, uh, I would know that the 16 is your insert size. So in this case, it's, it's your length. It indicates your length, which I never really worry about, but your IC, your inscribed circle, is 3 8 So that's, I, I consider that a 3 8 insert right there. 3 8 uh, inscribed circle. All right, so that, that's how you break down one of these threading tools right here. All right, so we're gonna move on to the, to the actual inserts now. All right, so this insert, this is your common laid down threading insert. I know a lot of people use this insert right here. This is the same size that I use at work. And here we go. So that is a 16ER AG60. And again, this breaks it all down as to what all those letters and numbers mean. Over here in the book, we've got it flipped to the, the carbide insert identification. Again, metric, so I have to convert everything over to uh, imperial size. The very first one, the 16, is your edge length and the diameter of the insert, the inscribed circle. We kind of talked about that already. So that's going to be a 3 8 3 8 IC insert, 16. E is for external. This is going to be for an external tool holder. R is a right hand. It's going to be for a right hand, a right hand tool. All right, your AG. Now that's where it gets a little bit. There's a lot of different letters here that represent what that threading insert is going to be used for. So the AG. I know you can't read that on the video here, but the AG is for 48 to 8 threads per inch. Uh, if you were to say that in metric, it's a 0.5 pitch to a 3.0 pitch. All right. So that's what the AG means. And then 60, always pretty easy. Just remember that's a 60 degree thread profile. All right. And that's down here also. You, on other type of inserts, if that wasn't for V threading, you would have a 55 for like British threads, uh, American buttress, Acme, API. There's, there's several right here, and, it, and that's what's nice about this book is that it breaks it all down and, and tells you what that means. All right, so that's the 16. Now we're going to look at the this one right here, which is a 22NR. 22NR N60. Now this this insert right here I have for a, it's a threading bar, so it's for internal. And this was the insert that we needed whenever we had we had bought this particular bar to do a bunch of threading on some uh, some couplings. And I'll say that these are extremely good inserts, man. They last forever. Seco, we did buy Seco. They make some good stuff. And these are pretty old already. All right, so it's a 22NR N60. 22, come over here in the book. 22 is your length. And your insert size and imperial size, that's going to be a half inch. So I'd, be, I'd call that a half inch insert. And N is for an internal. So it's, this is going to be for an internal bar for cutting internal threads. R is right hand. So we're cutting a, a right hand thread with an internal bar. And then N is, that's going to be your, your uh, thread pitch, okay? So N is for a seven to five threads per inch and it's a partial profile same way with the other one I'm, i forgot to point that out this is partial profile and a partial profile it, you don't rub the top of the thread when you're using this to cut a, a full a full profile you'll actually cut the top of the threads it shows it right here there's a partial and there's a full profile so partial profile seven to five you can also use it to cut 3.5 pitch to a 5.0 pitch and then again 60 is your 60 degree V profile all right so hopefully that makes sense <laughs> and it just takes a little bit of, of studying this stuff you know put yourself around it find the information study it yourself and just go over it and once you do once you do it over and over again, then it starts to kind of set in, just like anything, anything that you're used to doing. You, know, you, you create like muscle memory, and you'll, you'll start remembering what some of this stuff means. 
All right. All right, guys, that's going to conclude this episode of Shop Talk. We're just going to do on this insert for this this one here. And I wanted to point out one other thing, too, is that I, I, I wanted to do an episode on grooving tools. And this particular episode was supposed to be on grooving tools. But this black book does not have anything for grooving tools to break that down. So I couldn't use it to show you. And I even grabbed my, uh, I've got an ISCAR book for, for grooving tools. And even the ISCAR book doesn't break everything down. It just lists everything in there. You know, it shows you what you, what, what you're wanting to cut and it shows you the tool you need you know in the different sizes it doesn't really break it down like i'm trying to do here so i'm not sure about the groove and i'm going to have to do some more research and, and and try to find something that i can show you visually here on the bench to try to break those uh those numbers down for the grooving tools so anyway you know if you're i have a lot of guys that ask me well what's threading tool is the best i was showing you this one because i think this is the best and this style of insert right here, this uh, the TNMC style, the stand-up style of threading tool, I think these are kind of uh, they're they're going out. You know, they're not they're not as widely used anymore, and they're a little bit harder to find. This lay-down style, like I just showed you, is the much more common style. So is the top notch, and I know there's some other stuff out there too, but this is a more common insert. So I would say. That if you're looking for a threading tool that you want to buy to use the thread in your shop, I would go with this style right here. Okay, I would recommend that. They're they're not that expensive. At work, we buy the the Iscar. I've got some Iscar inserts that we're buying, and I, and I want to say these are like fifteen dollars a piece. So they're not they're not too bad. Depend on what size they are. So. All right, we're gonna cut it off from here. Leave me a comment and tell me what you think about the episodes. How you like what I've been talking about and whatever you would like to see in a future episode. I'm still taking requests and listening to your comments and we're kind of basing these videos off of viewer requests. I know there's a lot of stuff that I can go over, so I'm trying to just keep the content interesting. All right, see you later.